Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diego Guerrero. Today's top headline is bullying. Bullying is the most common form of violence. Nearly 160,000 young people every day miss school because of fear of being intimidated by other students. 9% of 10 to 17 year olds say they have been abused at least once by cyber bullies. The act of it, bullying is the act of intimidating a weaker person to make them do something. I think we're good right there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have a story about a young man named Dylan. Dylan has been bullied for many years, and he has a sad story. Tonight we'll uncover bullying in teens today. So Dylan, how long have you been bullied? Well, I've been bullied for around freshman year. How did this all begin? Well... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, school! Excuse me, sir. Where do you think you're going? I'm trying to get to class. Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> hey, buddy. How it seemed like it lasted a long time. Yeah, and it kept on going. Mm. I'm doing my essay. Ah, oh, not again. <laughs> Alright, uh, how do you approach a situation where a bully, a bully is picking on another student? Well, I like to get information first. So talk to both sides, find out what the action is and if it actually constitutes bullying or is it just an isolated incident. Uh, how has bullying changed from when you were in, were in high school to now? Uh, electronics. More, a lot of bullying is happening over the internet nowadays, so it's a little less, um, it's not quite on campus as much as more anonymous sometimes. Uh, do you think bullying is a problem at this school? I think a bullying is a problem at every school, absolutely, from elementary all the way up to high school. Kind of like you're right, it doesn't really happen around here, but a lot of this is what's going around. Luckily, a lot of people don't take it serious here. So it doesn't make them lose their minds. But yeah. in other schools, I hear about it all the time. Torrey Pines, some of the private schools, they end up toiling paper in houses and going around and shooting paintball guns and windows. They respond to that cyber stuff. We're fortunate that our kids, are, their maturity level is a little higher. Yeah. So they're able yeah. to just dust it off. Watch, I'm going to pick on her right now. But this isn't truly really bullying. Cool this is more like um, workplace, hostile workplace. <laughs> well, we didn't really put that in. No, <laughs> 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 Whenever you can type what you think about somebody into a computer, um, you're going to be a lot meaner than if you're face to face. It just is because you don't. There's no consequences right at that moment, so you can say these really, really mean things. Plus, you have more time to sit and go, "Wait, I'm going to fix this." I'm, she was worse than that. She was all this stuff, right? So you can think to increase the the damage you do and you're more likely to want to do the damage because there's nobody right there to say hey what are you doing you're kind of in, in that little cyber world you know? okay and do you think bullying is as big of a problem at our school I'm sure it's pretty big and I don't hear about it because it's all happening on these phones and all these devices you guys have um, I don't I don't see a, a super lot outside I feel like you guys get along pretty well I mean you know, compared to most schools, but I know that it's happening uh, online and stuff. I've seen examples of it, and um, I know it's just it's so easy now to do it with those, you know, your your smartphone, your computer. That I know it's a problem. I don't really know how big it is, to be honest with you, which is kind of sad because it is it's kind of in a hidden world where you guys hang out on Facebook and stuff like that. Okay, thank you for your time. All right, thank you. So in your opinion, which one do you think is more violent, physical bullying or mental? Physical. Can you elaborate why? 
Well, although mental bullying is equally as traumatizing, obviously violent bullying can be, you have evidence against it, and it's going to do physical harm to the person, so it's more violent. And how do you think peer pressure ties in with bullying? Well, I think most of bullying is, uh, as a result of peer pressure. I think that most people just want to be cool in front of their friends. I don't think people are inherently mean. I think they're just trying to impress somebody. And as a kid, have you ever been bullied? I, I love Star Trek, so... <laughs> and I was in band, so of course the, the cool kids, you know, had a... Uh, like to tell me exactly what they thought of me. Okay, thank you for your time. No problem. Uh, Dante, uh, have you been bullied or have you been a bully? Um, I would have to say, I, actually I have been bullied, but it's been more toward the line of elementary-ish kind of stuff, like going to the six, like, no, no, elementary to middle school, that's when the time I've been bullied, that's when I was short and fat and everything like that. I couldn't really be a bully, but I have been bullied, and it's, it's terrifying things. It's more like a, a mind game, because you know what, they realized that they they weren't really going to do nothing. They just got in my mind, and they were intimidating, because I was only a good 5'9", 123 pounds in the fourth grade. Can't really do nothing looking up at people, so. In our newsroom, we have my good friend Nathan, and we'll be I'll be interviewing him about uh, if he's ever been bullied and just whatnot like that. So Nathan, have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have. Oh. Do you want to expand on that, or have you bullied someone? Or I think everyone has, to be honest with you. Everyone's gone through the time where they have to bully someone, or they get bullied, that kind of thing. I've been bullied. Like, middle school is definitely the biggest part. Are you asking, like, now, or like, just, just in any general? time in your life, yeah. Yeah, in general, everyone's been bullied, and you know, it's just, it's never going to be prevented, that kind of stuff, but it happens. And uh, since we're in a new generation, we've also added computers and like phones and stuff. Have mm -hmm. you ever noticed like someone taking advantage of Facebook? Oh yeah, definitely. People can definitely cyber bully people, and um, you can put like really bad stuff on their Facebook. You can uh, you can pretend to be someone else and just completely screw with the people. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with media and stuff. And all that. Yeah, uh, that's true. Well, I think that wraps it up. Right. Have you ever been bullied or are you a bully? Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been a bully, I guess. Yeah. And what kind of kids do you usually pick on? Kids who like soccer, like FIFA. You know? And like wear chains and have a hawk in a shaved head. So, when do, where do you see kids like that? Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Bye. <laughs> Oh, Gatorade! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Ah! As you have seen with our case of Dylan, bullying is still a problem. And we need to take actions to make sure that we have bullying come to an end. Right, Dylan? Right. <laughs>